Some really cool new features are coming to the JavaScript language, namely optional chaining and nullish coalescing operator. I hope I pronounced that right. How useful are they? Let's discuss. So the optional chaining and the nullish coalition are coming to the JavaScript language. And uh, I think they are already on the major JavaScript engines like V8 and Spider Monkey and JavaScript Core and Chakra. You know, they are already there almost, right? So they are ready to be picked up by client applications such as the browsers, you know, Firefox, Chrome, Opera, Safari right and other clients such as node.js right essentially framework javascript framework right so i'm gonna go through this functionality these new two features show you how they work and then go you where actually they are supported because they are still uh, not supported in every browser they're definitely not in node.js yet not in dino as well this new javascript framework so yeah, so we'll go through that as well and show you where this is available, right? How about we do that? All right, so let's start with optional chaining. So optional chaining essentially, it shows right here how you do it essentially, but you know what, let's just show you. It's just easier, guys. So I'm gonna go to the developer tools and clear all that stuff and show you how we can do it. I'm gonna disappear for a while. So what do you do? Like, uh, let's assume you have an object, right? And it's called a user, okay? And this user have a job, right? And the job has uh, an ID, right? And, and let's say, I know whatever, three, and has a name, right? And, uh, engineer, okay? And also he has a name, right? Other stuff. He can have other stuff, right? And I don't know, it's like Hussein. And you can start building this stuff, guys, right? You can start building an object, okay? And if you do user.job.name, you get this, right? But sometimes if you do user.job.property that doesn't exist, like age, you get an error, right? But sometimes most of these properties that you have happen to have other properties like objects like so object job dot uh, date right dot when you do that like uh, to string you're gonna get an error right that's the problem here so what we do essentially is you can use optional chaining like uh, to create a chain of properties like that essentially I was like okay user dot and you add in a question mark right if that object is there return it if not then and instead of doing these ugly if statements you can just do this right job right and you can do this job if it's there then do dot name right and if it's there then do dot whatever length right and you get the, this thing. But let's say if you were trying to access a property that doesn't exist, right, on 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 the um, on the user, for example, age, you're gonna get this like undefined, right? So if I create another user that let's say it doesn't have a job, like they don't have a job property, and his name is I don't know, Rec, right? It's called user2, okay? So if I do user2.job now, I'm gonna get an error. And if I do user.job.name, I'm gonna get an error. So you can do this now, user.job.name, and it's gonna you're gonna get undefined if it doesn't exist, right? So it's easier instead of failing and doing a try catch or doing like 
what without this optional chaining, what you used to do is like do okay if user two dot job is equal 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 undefined, then do this else do that right. You have to do all these ugly if statement or trinary operator. So that's the first one, guys. That's optional chaining. It's very very useful in my opinion, right? And sometimes I. Um, I get I run, I run into this all the time where I have an object but I don't know if the object is actually exists so I have to check oh does it actually uh, does the object exist if not then do this right so let's talk about the null coalition right so uh, some of you guys might might know this option where he says okay uh, uh, let's say the same option right user one dot job okay you want you want to get the job right user to the job and if if that job doesn't exist give me i don't know an empty string okay and you can just create an empty array of job right you can do an engineer right you can do the initialize it something like that right and if you do that now it works right but problem with this approach using the or what happened here is what happened is if you if you pass it an undefined you undefined or it with everything with anything else will give you always that result right and people use this all the time especially if you want to specify a port right you use the environment variable here and then you put the actual port here and it works like charm however there is one case where this is actually doesn't work because this is a falsy uh, expression that means if this is false you'll always gonna get this so the example that they were given is essentially says okay let's say you have an object a equal I don't know enabled all right and it's set to false right and if you do a dot enabled and you did this right or true if say check, check if it's enabled if it's if it not set you want to return true right but in this case it is incorrectly returning true despite this being actually false you want to return false if it's set you want essentially if it's not set if it's undefined to return true okay so the problem with this is you can never do this right so that's why they invented the null coalition so it's like the same thing exactly but you do it with double question mark right and this way if this is null i'm gonna return you the other if it's null or undefined i'm gonna return you the other one else i'm gonna return it to you which is false which is this is what i want right i want the actual value but if a dot enables actually undefined then I do this, I'm gonna get this, right? I'm gonna get the actual value true, okay? So th these are the two functions, guys, in a nutshell. Okay, the null coalition and the optional chaining. Eh, I find myself using the optional chaining, to be honest, more than that. All right, where are these puppies available? So optional chaining, if we go all the way down, and these guys, right? These are all the engines that we have. V8, which is used in Chrome, and it's used in Node.js, and it's used in, uh, what is it it's called, the new thing, Dino, right? Spider Monkey is a JavaScript engine used in Firefox, JavaScript Core, and Chakra. It's already in V8. That's why I was able to use it in Chrome, because Chrome 80 has essentially picked up the latest version of V8, okay, which has this change. And uh, essentially, you can have it around. Firefox, I have Firefox 72. I think 73 is still in beta as of recording this video, right? So I couldn't do optional chaining with Firefox yet on my 72 version. Okay, so that's because it essentially didn't, whatever, the spider monkey didn't have that feature yet, right? You can see that this uh, is still 50% development, right? And JavaScript core, so it is in Safari. It's supposed to be in Safari, but I don't know which version. They apparently they didn't pick it up yet. Yeah, and uh, finally, I don't believe it's in Edge as well. So yeah, 
it's still not an edge. So that's the optional chaining. And uh, the null coalescing, this puppy, right? It's essentially in Chrome 80, which is the version I have. That's what I have. That's just literally updated uh, Chrome version 80. So yeah, it is in version 80. Okay, now collision, right? It is in version 72, which is uh, I could have. The, uh, I the, I was able to do it in Firefox. Okay, because it's version 72 that currently. So it is in Firefox. Then I'll collision. You can do this two double question marks. All right, V8. It's already there. Spider Monkey, they're still developing, so it's almost like done, especially like Edge, not yet though. So, if you're using Edge, you cannot use these beautiful features yet, okay? So, you kind of have to wait or switch browsers. Alright, so yeah, so these are the availability. How about Node.js? Node.js? Unfortunately, the latest version of Node.js as of recording this video, Node js.org is 13.9 and 13.9 when I looked at the um, what is this called all right so node.js has not picked up these features yet because guess what it is still using v8 version 7.9 however these features were installed on v8 version 8 i understand it's very confusing <laughs> yeah so very v8 version 8 has these two things okay which is the null collision and the optional chaining right but node.js picked up the version right before that i think it's a it's a huge change because it's a major release probably so the node.js team is, is essentially they're they're watching for it it's it's obviously they need to recompile and make sure all their tests pass so i would understand so it's going to take a while for this optional chaining to come to node.js i think uh maybe in version 14 node.js 14. for dino this be this beautiful new thing that i just found about it is not in dino as well yet so yeah so the, whatever the latest version of dino 21 22 23 yeah 0 0.22 it's not there yet so even if you're using dino you cannot use the optional chaining yet so maybe in a couple of months we'll all pick all that changes guys all right guys that's it for me today i think these these um these new features will be useful, right? I think they are they're kind of useful. Yeah, personally, I will find it not much as a null collision, to be honest. I don't use that much. I, I just find myself it's easier to write an if statement. But with optional chain, especially if you like if you have like a huge hierarchy of objects, I think I'll prefer to use this optional chaining. So I'd like it to I'd like to make sure it's it make it into all browsers, right? So you have to, and yeah, if you write applications or HTML, uh, JavaScript code that have some uh, using these things, make sure that uh, it's not gonna just run on every browser. So you'll have to wait a few months, I guess, until all browsers actually support it. So yeah, this is our new cool feature. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna see you in the next one. You guys stay awesome.